<clears throat> the last five minutes of the first half was key. Um, you know, they didn't rebound the ball. We, we had, you know, they had ten rebounds at half, and no offensive rebounds, and I think they only scored two, two points in the last five minutes of the first half. So it allowed us to push out our lead. And we were struggling before then to guard them, and it was nip and tuck, and we didn't guard them very well. But the last five minutes, we were very active. We were helping each other and uh, really made some plays and got some loose balls and got some breakouts and, um, and executed our stuff and, and uh, got a little bit of a lead there right before half. Um, like to finish the game better. Didn't make free throws like I'd like to. But when we needed to make a play and execute, we did. P.J. had a, both of these guys. P.J. had a – we set up a high ball screen for him. And he made a nice spin move and got to the rim and finished it. And then Evan, we got a steal, and Evan came down and picture perfect John B line, two on one. Mark Jackson moves and, and layup. And, uh, you know, it's just guys doing what they're asked to do and making plays when uh, they need to make plays. So, um, you know, I would have liked to make free throws and missed two front ends, one on ones. But, you know, we were ahead enough that that didn't matter. Hopefully, if that happens again, we'll make them. So, good team win. Rick Venus said you guys did a really good job of doubling Grubbs. You really shut him down. He said that's the best uh, anyone's done this year. You pleased with the defense on him? Yeah, early we uh, struggled a little bit with it. We doubled and they found the open guy. And they really killed us with it the last time we played them at UPJ. And to be honest with you, uh, that's these guys. Um, we don't work on that very much. I mean, we don't work on it in practice very much. But we do it quite a bit in games, but we really don't. We, you know, we have one drill, we work on it, we've probably done it two or three times all year. But we really talked about at halftime, the weak side guy dropping to the line of the ball and seeing the whole floor, because we were struggling with that kind of um, in the first half. And we did a better job second half, caused some turnovers, frustrated grubs, and then they went with that big lineup and it really hurt us on the glass. But, um, you know, we adjusted and, and made plays on the other end when we needed to. So, yeah, I was, I was really happy with that. We did a good job uh, doubling down. And, uh, you know, I know coaches that do that every time, no matter who they're playing. Um, it, it's just part of their defense. And, uh, you know, uh, I've, I've talked to them a lot in the past on how to do it and when to do it. But, you know, it, it's give credit to these guys. We adjusted and did it even though we haven't worked on it in a long time. Why don't you guys choose UC? I feel that was a good look. I told you, talked to Coach Donnie a few times over the phone. And, um, he explained to me. I came down for a little visit. And I fell in love with it. Mm -hmm. I like the fans here and everybody here. It's just a lot of good people here. Had some other options maybe too? Yes. But uh, my cousin Marcus now he plays here too. So. Well, Marcus is your cousin. Yeah. Okay. I just wanted to find a system I could be a little more freed up offensively. Uh, the system I was in before uh, didn't do a whole lot of – uh, drive and kick kind of stuff like we do. We had a, a big emphasis on uh, tossing the ball inside, which was fine. But uh, but you know, I thought I I was more of a player offensively than I, than I was being able to play. So uh, just wanted to get freed up a little bit and visited and talked to Coach Downey and things he'd like to do, and it was it was a perfect fit for me. Do you have an, uh, an at large bid locked up yet? Do you think? I don't know. It's it's close. Um, I think we're pretty solid, you know, with the three, with the, the, you know, having going into the tournament, having the three um, ranking in the region. Um, but, you know, you never know. Um, so I told these guys today, you know, um, all the favorites in the tournament could lose. And it, you know, it, it just it could happen. <laughs> and uh, if that happens, then now you're saying your prayers if you don't win the tournament. <laughs> so. Um, you know, we just we, we, we aren't talking about. I mean, our goal is to be in the NCAA tournament. Don't get me wrong. I mean, that's all we talk about. We want to be in the NCAA tournament. Um, but right now, what we're really talking about is one game at a time. Just figure out a way to win and move on to the next one. And uh, you know, we just keep telling each other and in the locker room, nothing's promised. Nothing's promised this time of year. You just got to give everything you got and uh, leave it all on the floor and try to find a way to win. Coach, 25 wins is the most since Coach G in 02 and. Mac Fessel back in the 70s, and it's seventh all-time in 94 seasons. Kind of take us back when you took the job. You left Arkansas Tech and right now as you sit there. Yeah, it, uh, pretty good feeling. Pretty good feeling. Um, these guys, I told, uh, I think I told you about a week ago um, that I was more proud of this team than that Arkansas Tech team who are number one in the country. 
because they were expected to be really good. They were they were seniors and three and four guys that have been in the turn been in the been there for a while. And uh, stop. <laughs> I see her crying. Um, but I'm proud of these guys, and that's why I'm like this. Because uh, you know <laughs> these guys are new. I mean, we're all new. Even Brendan Ross, who's been here for four years, is uh, a, a two-year guy because we we're all new. We all came in together. And um, for them to buy in and do that in one year, one year, a bunch of guys that are two years, for them to buy in and do that, man, I'm proud of them. And uh, that's, that's a special feeling as a coach. So, And it's an honor. I mean, Jason G called me yesterday and left a message and, and said, uh, you know, when I was there, we used to own that tournament. So it'd be nice if we could do it again. And, you know, it was really nice of him to call and congratulate us on a great year and just humbled and honored to be mentioned in UC tradition like that because uh, there's been a lot of good coaches and a lot of good players. Okay, let's go ahead and close it down. When was the last time UC went Thanks, Scott. The third time we played Charleston in, um, this year, and the first time down there, they really got us on the glass pretty good. And, and at halftime, at tonight's game, we didn't have one offensive rebound, and, and I thought that was a key to them building a 10-point lead up. We, got, we were getting one shot, and out, even though we shot 65%, we didn't have a, you know, a lot of second shots, and the turnovers, the first half hurt us all, so we had 10 turnovers. And then the second half, um, you know, we, I thought we battled really hard, had seven offensive rebounds, and we got it down to within distance, and striking distance, but uh, Reyes just came up with big play after big play when, when they needed it. What did you do to get back into it? You were down by 18. You cut it to seven. Well, I think we just started getting some stops. I mean, they were, you know, we were having a hard time guarding the ball, and they were just sort of getting a lot of easy baskets. And, uh, you know, the game with the shot clock and the three-point line is never over, and, and our guys have always battled. And, you know, I, I give us a lot of credit. We battled. We had a, we had a wide open three with our best shooter, and we had a chance to get it to six, but it went in and out. And if we get it to six, then – a little different game with, you know, about four, four and a half minutes left, six-point lead. What was the score at that point? Do you remember? Uh, I, I know they were up nine. I can't remember exactly what it was. Yeah, they were up nine in a while. They, you know, they were up nine several times. Yeah, it was probably uh, maybe 71, 62, I think. That's what it was. Okay. You, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you were down. Yeah, yeah 71, 62. And we had a nice wide-open look, but we just uh, – you know, we struggled shooting the ball. The second half, it's like two two different halves. The first half, we shoot 65%, turn it over 10 times. The second half, we turn it over four times and shoot 38%. So mm -hmm. that's basketball. Mm -hmm. When you think you have it figured out, you don't. Yeah. You guys were in independence before you came into the WBC, is that right? Yes. For, this is my 23rd or 24th year. We were, this is our fifth year, fifth or sixth year in the league. So it's been great being in the league, but it will play for something. Helps in scheduling, too, I assume. Oh, yes. Yes. Is that the biggest advantage? Yeah, I mean, we got to be pretty good, and we had to travel around the country to get games because people didn't want to play us, so mm -hmm. it got difficult. What did UC do specifically to kind of they did, I disrupt thought, him? Uh, they did the best job on Pat all year. He He's not only the leading rebounder in school history and the second leading scorer, he's in the top 15 assists. He's the best passing big man that we've had. And he finds open guys, but they did a great job. They came at him and doubled him really hard. We had a hard time seeing and making passes, and no one's really done that all year. They come at him, and, and he finds guys for layups, for shots, but they, they did a good job of, of really, you know, bodying them up and not letting them see. And that was, I think, it, that was a key to the game, because they weren't going to let him beat them one-on-one, because he's running to a lot of people in his career. Is that something you sensed right away? Yeah, after first couple of my points, uh, <clears throat> they really started double teaming and then, you know, making it difficult for me to, you know, get any good looks at all. And, you know, I tried to find uh, the, my teammates as best as I could, but, you know, give the credit to them. They, you know, their coaching staff and everything they did, just, you know, it was difficult. It was it's hard to see anybody getting open, you know. Sometimes I just had to kick it right back out and, you know, help them out. But, you know, all the credit, off, uh, my hat's off to them, you know, all the credit goes to them for, you know, yeah, they did a great job on that. Is it more their length or their athleticism or what? Or I think both. Yeah. Both, yeah. They're long. They're definitely long arm mm -hmm. and, and they're quick. You know, they're, and, and they're well coached. So, you know, 
And some depth too. Yes. Yeah, when you have two Division One transfers coming off the bench, it's not bad. <laughs>